Hey everyone, welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I discuss making the text animation inside Premiere Pro using crop and transform effects. This footage on the timeline will be used as a background for this text animation. First take the type tool and left clicking on the program monitor to enable the typing mode. Now I'm gonna type 7, double click on the text in order to select it. Ok let's go to the effect controls, under the text we can choose a font. In my case, I select the Roboto font and black as a font style. We can make the font size a maximum of 400. Scroll down a bit and click on this field to pick a color. Choosing color is totally up to you. For this tutorial, we can select the yellow. Now select the selection tool and change the position of the text or digit in the program monitor. It is time to deselect the timeline layers and select the type tool in the menu. Ok, let's move over to the program monitor and double click to active type mode. This time I'm gonna type days. Double click on the text to select the days. In the effect controls, I'm gonna change the font size to around 220. Now we have to take the selection tool and place it exactly on the right side of the 7. Now you can click here to deselect the timeline layers and select the type tool. Go to the program monitor and type something like a week. In the effect controls, I wanna change a couple of settings. To do it, first select the text in this way. Now we can change the font style or type to light and size to around 140. We have to select the selection tool and change the position of the text. So in this part of the tutorial, we have to select the top two upper layers. Right click any of the selected layer, then click next to make them together. Now let's move to the effects and search for the transform effect. Apply this effect to the nested layer. Make sure the nested layer is selected or highlighted and the time indicator is at the first frame of the layer. Click on the stopwatch of the position to create a keyframe. I'm gonna drag the time indicator to the right. So let's go to the time code and change it from 3 seconds to 4 seconds. Now click on this icon to set another keyframe in this position. Go to the first keyframe and decrease the angle of the position to move the text to the left. To make the animation a bit smoother, we can ease out the first keyframe and ease in the last keyframe. Uncheck this box and set the shutter angle value to 180 to add natural motion blur effect to this animation. Again go to the effects section and find out the crop effect. Drag this effect over to the timeline and apply it to the nested layer. Now go to the effect controls and click on the crop effect to active it. In the program monitor, click and hold the left button of the mouse on the left line. Then drag this line to the right. If I move the time indicator, you can see the animation. Now I'm gonna right click on the edge of this layer to apply the cross dissolve transition. Let's extend the duration of this transition. Finally move the nested layer to the right. Now go to the sequence and click render into out to render this text animation. You can make this kind of text animation for your videos. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be back in the next video.